Why don't you hit me with your best shot? Is anybody home? This is just how I look today. <laughs> Welcome to the office of love and light. Y'all, I, I have to show you this dressing and then we'll, we'll get to the chit chat, we really will. Um, first of all, I want you to see it and then we're gonna go into the kitchen. I'm gonna tell you what's in it, okay? Then we're gonna go into the kitchen and then I'm gonna put it over some Koodles, fat cucumber noodles that have already been sliced, squeezed, and they're ready to enjoy this the stick ability. Friends, can you all, let me just show, oh, there's an air bubble, wait please. Do you all like that? Do y'all see, do y'all see the, it's really like a great, that was a cucumber noodle in there, see? <laughs> okay, I already dipped, I'm sorry. But look at that, it's really tasty and you can enjoy this little, is that not the cutest thing? Okay, so let me tell you what was in it. So in your high speed blender, you could probably do it in a regular blender, but to get the smoothness, you know. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start out with, in the bottom of your blender, put two tablespoons of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, one fourth cup of raw apple cider vinegar with the mother, meaning the enzymes are intact to help your digestion, baby. Don't you want a flat stomach? So anyway, one fourth cup apple cider vinegar, raw with the mother, two tablespoons of lemon juice, freshly squeezed, one half teaspoon. That is not a tablespoon, Tanny. It's a teaspoon, one half teaspoon of, you know what, did I use a half or did I use Yes, half teaspoon of mustard powder, half teaspoon of turmeric, half teaspoon of curry powder, four tablespoons of raw hulled hemp seed hearts, all right, one cup of celery. Why we're putting the celery is because we're going to bulk that up. You could get away with less fat in this if you want, and how are you going to do that? is you are going to, say you wanna take it down to two tablespoons of hemp seeds, okay? Three and a half tablespoons of raw hulled hemp seed hearts is about 200 calories. If you're on a roughly 2,000 calorie diet and that's where your fat's coming from, that's about 10% of your calories from the day. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Hey John, how are you sir? So anyway, let's say you wanna cut it down to two tablespoons. Well, what you would do is you would add in a little bit of thickener. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add in one tablespoon of lacuma powder. That is a dried fruit from Peru that is dried, dehydrated on low temperatures, ground into a powder for your enjoyment of a low glycemic sweetener, but mainly thickener, baby. Get your stick ability on. So anyway, you could cut the fat a little bit, put in a lacuma powder, which is gonna give you additional creaminess to um, sub in for the fat, and it's gonna give you more stickability, right, and a little bit of sweetener. Also, lacuma powder is good. If you're, on, if you're wanting to lose weight, the less sweet you can put in your dressing with your fat, the better. Because when you have too much, it, too much sweet with the fat can cause problems with digestion. It can also cause problems with blood sugar because therefore you've got this sweetener the sugar, okay, let's say dates, bouncing around in your bloodstream, you've got the fat, which kind of coats the cells in a way, let's just say it does, let's say it gives a little coating, you know? Then you've got this, the sugar kind of not being able to enter into the cells, so the less you do, the better. But one good thing you can do is lacuma powder. It's a low glycemic sweetener, and it's great if you have blood sugar problems, baby. So anyway, that is what we have here. If you wanted to sweeten with something else, you could do about two dried, non-sulfured apricots. You can get those at Costco's in a big bag, organic sun-dried apricots for about $9, okay? And it's enough to make you want to holler because it's two huge 32-ounce jars of 
apricots packed in there, okay, mason jars. So anyway, or you could do one day, but let's review the, the dressing recipe again. Okay, we had half of a teaspoon of mustard powder, half teaspoon of turmeric, half teaspoon of curry powder, four tablespoons of raw hulled hemp seed hearts, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and one four cup of apple cider, one fourth cup apple cider vinegar, raw with the mother, right? So anyway, um, I wanted you to see that, and I don't have any, see, oh, and one cup of celery, that gives it the bulk and the salty, okay? I'm glad I didn't forget to say that again. But if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of dulse flakes in there. You could add a little bit of wakame seaweed, which gives you an additional salty. But you're not really gonna need it. This is a very well-balanced dressing. Trust me, try it, you'll like it. But another thing you can do is if you don't, you're thinking, well, Tanya, I don't like the taste of celery. I don't wanna eat celery. So try bulking up your dressing with celery first with the whitish parts of celery because it gives you a bulk and salty, but it doesn't have the bite of some celery, okay? Also, I would encourage you to have organic celery because celery, the cellulose in there has the ability to bring in pesticides and hold them in, and you can't get it out, and it's not good for you. So it also has a very harsh taste and a bitter aftertaste. Now, if you don't want to try celery at all because you're not hearing what I'm saying and you're going, la, 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 I'm not eating the celery, right? If you're that person, I see you. I know you're doing it, okay? So instead, bulk up with one cup of the following. You could do zucchinis, peel off the green, okay? Because you're trying to get that, the creaminess, you're trying to get a bulk without making it green, okay? Another thing you could do is squash. You could also do mushrooms, one cup of any of those that I just said. So you could do that, you really could. And then if you do that in place of the celery, you are going to want to add in a salty. So therefore, you're really gonna to wanna to add in a tablespoon of wakame seaweed or a tablespoon and a half of dulse flakes. Come to the kitchen of love and light, will you? Can y'all enjoy my new light fixture? Do y'all, can y'all see? Look, isn't that cute? It's really not as bright as it looks right there, but anyway, I want you to see, okay? So, um, hi again, see, I have the lighting. Somebody said I have bad lighting in here and I don't, I really don't. So here we have the cucumber noodles. As you see, they have been made and drained. If you're wondering how to make cucumber noodles easily, you should get yourself, treat yourself, baby. You deserve to spend $12 on yourself. Go to bed and bath, get a set of these, which are your Titan brand peelers. Okay, this is the brand. And this, for example, is the Julianne peeler. This is a great thing to make cucumber noodles with. These particular ones were made with the veggie peeler. So what you do is you take your cucumbers, really the, um, the seedless ones, the English uh, cucumbers are really good. Take this, peel off the skin. If you're a person who has a hard time digesting cucumber, sometimes it's the skin, okay? So peel that off, then you can either take this one for wider noodles, you know, fettuccine style, or you can take that other one and what you do, run it down the side, okay, till you get to the seeds. Don't attempt to spiralize the seeds because it does, or slice the seeds like that. It doesn't work, it doesn't come into noodles. It's just like a soggy mess. So then once you get your noodles made, it's very important that you can let those drain in a colander for a little bit. Somebody's walking, so my dogs have to let you know that. And then you're gonna squeeze them out, really squeeze them hard, leave them sitting there a minute in the colander and then squeeze them out a few more times. The more you squeeze them, the more like Asian glass noodles they become and they're very tasty. So let's just, um, I want you to see, this is also how I do with my seaweed that I'm gonna use in the next few days. As I will go ahead, this is Dulce Flakes and Wakame seaweed. And I'll go ahead and soak it a little bit uh, and you can know when you soak wakame seaweed, you, when you measure it out wet and plumped up, you can measure out twice as much as you normally would. So when I suggest one tablespoon of wakame, you would use two. So as you see, it's all soaked and ready to go. So I want you to just see how delicious the sauce is. First of all, let's have a taste test of it plain, shall we? It's, it's really good. I, I had to get Christopher to come taste this.
Friends of Love and Light, that is the dressing right there. So as you see, we're going to just, see we won't even need all of this. So I want you to just see that, look at that, it's very beautiful. And then say you were gonna have two hands, like you know, you weren't videoing at the same time. Sorry, you couldn't see a thing, could you? <laughs> Anyway, do y'all see? And then we will put some black cracked pepper. Well, let's have a taste test. But let's say you didn't need much dressing because look at that. I only used about a third of that and look how creamy. Okay, we're gonna have this over a lot of greens because after all, greens make you lean, baby. Bam. So let's say, what's the point in not having all the dressing is maybe you want some crackers too. Like over here in our dehydrator, we have going some cut the fat, though still we have some Oh, there they are. Okay. As y'all see, we have some crackers right here, all right? These are mushroom and um, flax seeds and lots of seasoning. Mainly, they're mushrooms. So, the point is, that whole cracker recipe has about 150 calories of flax in there. So, say I want to have half the crackers and half and a third of the dressing. I'm still low fat, and I have just stretched the fat even further. Do y'all see that? Is everybody understanding and picking up what I'm laying down? Let's bring this in here so we can we can talk some more. Because I have to plug you in because I have had a lot of coaching today. And I have talked to some dynamic people. And I talked to Rhonda a while ago. And this woman, Rhonda is going to heal. She and I came to a conclusion of that. And it was very exciting. Okay, so hold on a minute. And we'll see what y'all have to say. Is anybody here? Hey, Mickey, what are you doing? Hey, Lori. Also, by the way, I have something new. Let me show you, and um, at risk of sounding like a salesperson. Really, I don't want to sound like a salesperson. Maybe I won't even tell y'all. Should I tell them, Lori? You would think that when I do WWWT, that it would know I'm trying to go to Tanny Raw, but not really. So let's say you go to tannyraw.com, okay? All right, let's say you do it. And when you go there, you're gonna see that I have a new thing out. It is called a three-day raw revive. Bam. What I have attempted to do is have lots of plans that are specific to people, okay? You are going to fill out, if you're interested in this, you would go to Tanny Raw. Let me turn it around here so you can see. You would go right here to the Three Day Raw Revive, and it's going to tell you all about it. Um, hold on. As you see, it's going to tell you all about it, and what it's going to do is it's, when you, if you want to do this, this is everything you need and nothing you don't for three days. Shopping list and everything, complete with where you write down like a little a little online journal, all those kind of things. Everything you need, nothing you don't, and you can repeat it over and over. It is specific to your weight, your height, what your weight is now, what your age is, what you want to be, what diseases are on you, what is your activity level, are you on medications, are you sedentary, all these different things. And then I'm going to put you in a plan. Therefore, it's going to be as specific to you as I could be without talking to you one-on-one, -on -one, you know? And it's going to be everything you need and nothing you don't. So it's over there if you want it. But let's um, let's try this dressing, shall we? Do y'all want to talk about anything else? Let me see if I can see. There you are. Anyway, and I would love to know if you do that. Look at this. Can you all with the stickability... This is gonna be on my mouth when I eat it, and are y'all gonna mind? Do y'all appreciate that I've not been um, driving and videoing lately? Because I know it stresses you people out. Okay, I did it the other day, but not for long. I, I parked most of the time. Do y'all see? Hey, Jocelyn. Hmm. That is. Hmm. Oh my gosh, do, do y'all see this dressing? Oh no. Do y'all want a bite? Here. Mmm. 
Yeah. If you can't get over the salt cravings or needing all the fat, which let's talk about something, shall we? Right here, baby, I got your creamy dressing and the salty right there in that seaweed. So good. It's just delicious. Bitey. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that, I just threw dressing everywhere. That is delicious. Let me tell you something. A lot of times people are like, why are you worried about the fat and all that? There are people eating a thousand calories in their dressing every night from fat. There are people eating, guess what? I hope you're sitting down. Too many calories, too much fruit, too much fruit juice. Your body only needs what it needs, everything it needs, and guess what? Nothing it doesn't. And if you are eating, say 4,000 calories, and you're only expending, and you only need about 1,800, what do we think this is just evaporating? I am a long-term, low-fat, raw vegan. I can tell you how to do it with extreme success every time. I can teach you how to do it from top to bottom to where you're getting everything you need. You are creating long-term longevity of health. Is that not we want what we want? I'm not a kid, okay? I'm almost 46 years old and I have never felt so good. I've never been so lean, so strong, so toned, so clear-eyed and so clear-mind. So, I don't know. You can eat anything you want, and you can bypass the results you want, you know? You can be eating a long-term raw diet and create heart disease, do you know that? Because you're eating too much fat, you're eating too much omega-6, all right? The reason I like to use raw hulled hemp seed hearts is because they're a great ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids, which is great. I also like flax. When I'm going to use let's say tahini, which is a higher on omega-6, the next night I'm gonna make sure I make my dressing base with fresh, raw, ground flax seeds for omega-3. Are y'all picking that up? Do y'all wanna talk about anything else? <laughs> Mark said would I ever shave my head. Mark, I'm not doing that, okay? I don't care what the trend is. I'm not doing it, it's not for me. And I'm also not going to let my armpit ha hair grow out. If you're doing that, I like, I, if that was me, I would be like braiding it and adding beads to go with my tank top that day. Cause that's kind of cool, right? But like, I'm not doing that. Like, I'm just not. Hey Frank, how are you? I'm gonna give y'all a tour of the house, but not right now cause Christopher's home. And he didn't really enjoy that, I, I know. And that way I could take you in there, you know, and it would be great. But anyway, I, I appreciate y'all stopping by and I don't wanna make this video too long, but I, I wanted to show you this dressing because it's ridiculous, do y'all see? Uh huh? It has a very curry flair, but a nice balance, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love y'all, I really do. How would I handle my situation if I was in the same situation as people in Houston? Well, I don't know, I, I don't have TV, so I'm not sure like what access to food people have, but if I couldn't eat what I normally eat, I would take a fast because I know my body could live 30 days on water alone, and um, I just don't contaminate my body. I'm not gonna think, well, I'll just um, eat this pasta because, no thank you, I don't, no. I would up my game of my health because I would take a fast, you know? That's really tragic. It's like...